homegrown shopping platform Shopee opened its new regional headquarters in Ken Ridge yesterday in line with Singapore's push into the digital economy sector. The six-storey building is almost six times larger than its previous one in Science Park Drive and can accommodate up to 3,000 employees. Now, ST understands that the e-commerce platform giant will look to hire more data analysts, data scientists, software engineers and developers who specialise in machine learning and artificial intelligence. Since its launch in 2015, Shopee has grown significantly with operations in seven places including Singapore, Thailand, Malaysia and Vietnam. To share more, I have journalist Melissa Heng. Welcome Mel. Hi. So nice to have you here. So Mel, understand that uh, Deputy Prime Minister Heng Swee Kiet, he officiated the opening, mm. right? And uh, he said in his speech that Shopee's growth is aligned with Singapore's plans to position itself as a hub to harness the potential of the growing digital economy. Mm -hmm. Can you, you know, uh, briefly tell us more on that? Right, so basically um, he said that as the Southeast Asian economies uh, continue to grow, uh, Singapore needs to make sure that these companies um, doing business in the region want to be based in Singapore, yeah. right? Um, and that um, like Shopee, use Singapore as a headquarters to then right. venture out into the region. Mm. Um, so in, in, in growing our digital economy and building capabilities, um, this will hopefully like, transform translate to yeah. more jobs for Singaporeans as well. Yeah. 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 And uh, Shopee also uh, is planning to expand, right? Yeah, yeah. correct. So, so Shopee has been doing really well over the yeah. last four years since it, since it started. Yeah. Uh, and they started, I think, with like 10 employees yeah. and now they have 1,500 staff. Yeah. Uh, in moving to this new six-storey building, yeah. uh, they've said that they hope to expand to 3,000 staff. Right. Uh, so that's a lot of new positions open. La. Yeah. And Mel, you know, Shopee has grown significantly, <coughs> and you mentioned that as well, right, mm. over the past years, and has even gotten an international football superstar as its uh, spokesperson, uh, right, uh, Ronaldo himself. Now, this is a testament definitely to its growth. Mm -hmm. What has contributed to this, you know? How is it able to grow so much? Right. I think everyone kind of knows that. Uh, online shopping has been growing. Yeah. People love shopping online. Uh, it's very convenient and it's only getting more and more convenient, yeah. right? People are not just shopping on their desktops, on their computers, but uh, it's so easy to do shopping online and mm. on, on your phones now as mm. well. So you can really shop anywhere, anytime. Yeah. Uh, you know, when you're traveling, when you're getting ready for bed. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that definitely has added to more consumers going online to shop. Yeah. Um, at the same time, there's also a growing middle class in, ah. in Southeast Asia, yeah. right? Not just in Singapore, but in, yeah. in all the countries around us as well. So that just means that more people have like spending power mm. and these people are the ones going online to shop. Mm, definitely. Mm. So Mel, we had this chat earlier mm. on as well as, as we were discussing this mm -hmm. and you mentioned that you went, uh, of course you were at the right. uh, office itself and you know, the way you describe it to me, it's really like those uh, typical modern day office spaces that are becoming increasingly popular these days. You know, you have the likes of like Google, Spotify, you know, Netflix. Tell us more, you know, about uh, what the office space looks like. Right. Uh, so yeah, Shopee actually has really quite a nice office. Mm. Uh, they have a really large gym with many, many like treadmills. Yeah. Uh, they have multiple pantries and all the snacks and fruits and drinks there. Yeah. There's like ice cream fridges. Yeah. Um, at the same time, they also have like sleep pots on oh, every wow. level for all their employees. So you can go and like take a take nap. A nap. <laughs> yeah, uh, and they also have like in-house masseuse. Yeah. Oh, so wow. each employee uh, gets two 30-minute sessions every month. Oh. Yeah. That, that is more than enough, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think well, it looks like our office uh, has a lot to do uh, <laughs> <laughs> in ramping up uh, all these uh, offerings. Uh, but of course, you know, exciting times ahead for Shopee and really, you know, exciting uh, times ahead as well for the digital uh, economy sector here in uh, Singapore. And really, you know, for our viewers out there, uh, if you're looking to get into uh, this market, hey, you know, who knows, you might actually have an opportunity with uh, Shopee, right? Yeah. They are looking uh, to get uh, up to 3,000 employees. Mm -hmm. 
right? Uh, doubling, almost doubling mm. uh, their current employee count right now. So once again, thank you so much, Mel, for coming okay. on to the show. Now, earlier on, of course, uh, we had our uh, transport and housing editor, Karam, to tell us more about the bus and train uh, fare uh, that could possibly go up uh, next year by up to 7%. And then now uh, we had our foreign editor, Jeremy, to tell us more about Brexit and really what's next and how does this whole turmoil and this whole mess that is happening in UK affect Singapore and uh, we also spoke uh, to Mel uh, right here to tell us more about Shop uh, Shopee's new office uh, here in Singapore so definitely exciting times ahead for the digital uh, economy sector here in Singapore so that is all we have for you for our top stories for more news and videos do log on to our website at www.straitstimes.com once again I'm Harianto join us tomorrow same time for more stories on a big story mm -hmm.